I got something a little bit different for you today. I've done one foam rolling video a while back. Um, it was what I do in the morning and I'm going to try and do, see how short I can keep this. It's hard to make foam rolling short. I will link up this foam roller underneath in case you don't have a foam roller. If you've never done any foam rolling, it can be pretty intense when you start. But if you're getting up in the morning and you feel stiff, foam rolling is a great thing to do. It is a great thing to do before a run. I do both. I have fairly recently, in the last month or so, I'd say, the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is foam roll. Because if I wait till later in the day, it's probably not going to happen, unless I'm running and then I foam roll before I run. I'm also going to be taking a self myofascial release course at the end of this month. So the way I foam roll might change. I've done some other courses though. I've intended some courses. So let's get to it because I'm trying to make these practices pretty short. <clears throat> we are going to start with our calves. Normally I like to roll them out one at a time. One thing you'll realize very quickly Foam rolling is a really good upper body exercise because you're holding your body weight up. Um, you can do it seated like this too. It will be a little less intense. So if you're a beginner, that may be a good way to go. So anyway, you want to bring it a little bit above your ankles. Like I said, normally I like to do this one leg at a time. But in the interest of time today, we're just going ahead and doing both. And you want to go very slowly. And anywhere where you feel a knot, you know, a little bump that may be a little painful, go ahead and sit your butt down and go ahead and bring your toes back towards your face and then press them forwards. It's just a little functional fitness. It will help strengthen the other side that you're not rolling. And it may help a little bit with that knot not and okay because we are short on time so feel free to pause the video and go a lot deeper but bring your foam roller back so that it is just above your knees and go ahead and raise your body up and then go down your hamstrings and yes your thighs are just gonna spread on out and that's okay and if you're a runner this is another area that we are often really, really tight. And the slower you go, the deeper you're going to get in. The deeper you go, the deeper you heal. All right. Let's come on to our knees. And we are going to do our quadriceps, the front of our, front, our thighs. And just lay down so that your foam roller is just above your knees. And then go ahead and pull yourself forward. This one always feels really good to me. And then slowly push back. You want to stop before you get to your knees. Or just a little bit before you get there. And back. And like I said, this one really feels good to me. I could stay here a long time I'm trying to give you a short practice today. And if you feel a knot, you can stop and you can bend the knees up. You bend one knee at a time and then the other. This definitely makes it feel a lot more intense. But again, the deeper you go, the deeper you heal. Let's get on off of that. Now you can foam roll your shins. I don't really have the right tool to do that. You don't want to go right on your shin. Trust me, I did that when I didn't know better. It's just gonna bruise you and it's not gonna help. Now you can also get to the inside of your inner thigh. This one's a little awkward looking, but put your foam roller on the diagonal, take your thigh over, lay on down, so you got it, it's kind of my knees at a 90 degree. And then you're just gonna roll towards your groin, 
and then towards your knee, not onto the knee. We tend not to get into our inner thigh too much. And you can pause and straighten your leg and bend it and straighten your leg and bend it. And of course, we have to go on to the second side. Now you can spend, if you have a problem area, you can spend a little more time on your problem area. I know this one's really awkward to get into. It looks funky, but it's an area that we actually do need. Sorry, I'm going off screen here. <laughs> it's an area we do need to get into. And then bend and straighten, straighten and bend. And lastly, I'm going to try and get a little bit into your upper back. So scoot on forward to the top of your mat. Take the foam roller behind you. Go ahead and bring your lower back onto it. Soles of your feet are on your mat. Take your hands behind your head and go ahead and push your hips up. And just use your feet to walk yourself back and up. And go nice and slowly, not on your lower back really, but kind of your middle back, just below your shoulder blades. And then let your butt come down and lean over to one side and then the other. One side and then the other. And kind of move my hair out of the way. Go ahead. And that's a, for the ladies, if you've got long hair, you want to get it up and out of the way. Trust me on that one. <laughs> Anything that can get caught in the foam roller is going to get caught in the foam roller. This is another one that feels really, really good. I don't know about you, but I carry a lot of tension in my upper back. And again, when you get to kind of the top of your shoulder blades, you know, work towards one side, take your butt towards the floor, wind your arms over to the other, going slowly. I'm sure this looks great on the video, but it feels good. And then carefully bring your hands to your mat so that your foam roller is not popping out behind you. If you're really watching these videos, you may notice I'm in the same clothes as I was at the start of this video. Yet my hair is slightly different. My socks are slightly different. I realized some of the angles I shot were not the best. So I decided to go and we shoot them and I've just run. So this is very appropriate. And to get into the back, your upper back and your arms, it really helps to come and lay down with your foam roller the long way and your butt is all the way down at the bottom and your head is resting all the way up at the top. Make sure if you have long hair like me, that it's up because, as I said earlier, anywhere it can get cut, caught, it's going to get caught. And it's not much fun. And so take your arms out into a T and then just slowly begin to roll side to side. I really like doing this. I almost always find a knot, and a knot is basically a painful little bump. Now, maybe not painful. It could be painful, but it's just a bump that you'd like to go away. It's like when you go for a massage and they find those bumps, and those are knots. And if you can't get a massage, this is a good way to work out those knots. It's much better for when you get a massage. I am not going to lie. <laughs> so let's go back and forth. And if you do find a knot, just hold and just be still. And it should slowly let go. It's like a little hill that just goes whoop. And go ahead and come to stillness. Bring your hands down. And on an inhale, bring them up like you're making a snow angel. And all the way up. And then go ahead and bend your elbows as you bring them back down. And you may find some more knots as you do this. 
This should feel really good. I love doing this. Unlike some of the more intense moves on the foam roller, this should feel good. It really should. This should feel like something that you would like to keep doing. And I can tell you it's a really, it can really work those knots out too. It really can. I had an incident in the last couple of weeks where my shoulder was just killing me. And so a lot of foam rolling, a lot of self myofascial release, and it got better very, very quickly. And that's actually something else you can do. You can take your hands down and up, keeping it in kind of a, a goalpost position, cactus arms as people like to call it. And just up and down. That's going to get into some knots too. And you can do one arm at a time, bring it out to the side, over and across. Kind of just waving back and forth and the other arm. That may get into some knots for you. And finally, just bring your hands down by your hips. Palms are facing up. Basically, like bridge pose or savasana on your foam roller and just be still. If you've been sitting all day, if you've been working on a computer all day, this is going to help open up across your chest, across your shoulders. It's going to counteract all that hunching at the computer that we do. I really hope that you've enjoyed this short foam rolling and you can expect to see some more short foam rolling, maybe long foam rolling, I don't know, after I take my course at the end of the month and after I get some time to to test out what I've learned. And just at the end, just very slowly put your hand down and gently roll off your foam roller. Be very careful. Foam rollers have been known to shoot out across rooms. And that is your quick full body foam rolling routine. Great routine to do if you're running, after you run, and first thing in the morning. Thanks for joining me.